Pattinathar, also known as Thiruvenkadar, is a saint and poet who composed many hymns and devotional songs on Lord Shiva. His highly reflective religious songs convey his longing for spiritual attainment and separation from material concerns. Pattinathar was born in Kaveri Pumpattinam, also known as Pumpuhar, a town in the Mailadudare district in Tamil Nadu, India. He was from a very affluent family. His parents were Sivanesan Chettiyar and Nanakkalai Achi. During those days, it was customary for kings who ascended the throne to be coronated by the wealthiest family in the kingdom. More than three generations ever since, Pattinathar's ancestors crowned Chera, Chola, Pandya and the Pallava rulers. He came from a family of business tycoons who sailed their ships across various countries for trading purposes. As a child, Pattinathar spent most of his time playing. He did not care to study, which worried his father, Sivanesan Chettiyar. However, his mother convinced the father they had sufficient wealth to sustain 10 generations and thus told her husband not to worry about their son's education. A few years later, Sivanesan Chettiyar died and Pattinathar's mother had to take care of the family business of trade with the help of his maternal uncle. As the years passed, Pattinathar aspired to traverse the vast oceans and become a skilled tradesman. Eventually, he became the wealthiest trader of Kaveripum Pattinam. He got married to a girl named Sivakalai. After their 15 years of marriage, the couple were still childless. Once in the town of Thiruvidai Marudur, a panchayat town in the Tanjavur district of Tamil Nadu, India, there lived a poor and elderly Saivat devotee named Sivasarumar who spent all his wealth in feeding devotees of Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva, impressed with his charity, appeared in Sivasarumar's dream, told him he would find Lord Muruga as a baby and disclosed to him the location of the divine child. The Lord advised him to give the baby to the childless Pattinathar and his wife Sivakalai who would gift Saivai devotee gold equal to the baby's weight. After he awoke from the dream, Sivasarumar found Lord Murugan manifested as the divine baby and took him to Pattinathar who adopted the child. As prophesied by Lord Shiva, Pattinathar and his wife Sivakalai were overwhelmed with joy and thus gave the poor Saivai devotee Sivasarumar plenty of gold and other valuables. The divine child was named Mardavanan. The young lad led an opulent lifestyle. He was also like his father, not interested in studies. His father felt pained that his lineage was accursed not to receive education. Eventually, when Mardavanan blossomed into a fine youth, the wafting breeze of vast seas kindled his desire to perform trade. Thus, the youth expressed his desire to his parents, sought their blessings and set sail his ship to scale vast horizons and further add to the ever-increasing family wealth. A few years passed, Maradavanan's ship returned to Kaveri Pumpattinam. Pattinathar was eager to know how his son fared in his trade. He arrived at the docks and found Maradavanan leading a group of dock workers who heaved sacks of wealth and precious artifacts on their shoulders. Impressed by his son's accomplishment, Pattinathar embraced Maradavanan and the entourage returned to the mansion with cartloads of wealth. Eager that his son furthered the family fortunes, a visibly excited Pattinathar opened the sacks and became horrified to find dry cow dung and rice husks instead of the regular gold, diamonds and precious stones. An enraged Pattinathar called his mother and expressed his disappointment at what Maridavanan had done. Enraged by his son's act, Pattinathar kicked one of the sacks of dried cow dung which miraculously transformed into gold. Little did the father realize that his son Maridavanan was none but the Lord Murgan himself who left the devastated Pattinathar and his wife with a needle and a palm leaf that mentioned even this useless needle 
will not accompany you in the final journey of your life. After his son abandoned him with those parting words, a profound transformation occurred within Pattinathar. He realized that wealth, worldly and familial ties were transient. Thus, Pattinathar resolved to become a sannyasi and expressed it to his wife Sivakalai who was heartbroken to hear of his decision. However, she eventually came to terms with her predicament and spent her remaining life serving her aged mother-in-law. Thus, the once wealthy Pattinathar now wore the garb of a renunciant with nothing on his body except for a loincloth tied around his waist and a begging bowl in his hand. As is the custom for Sanyasi to accept his first alms from the mother, Pattinathar received alms from his mother and ruefully composed a Tamil poem that stated, You had with you a home, mother and wife. You had fame, a healthy body and even a child. You had cows and their calves. You possessed generations of family wealth. While you are still alive, look what you have finally become, a sannyasi. When his mother died, Pattinathar wailed over his loss with the following words, My legs grew tired moving from one womb to another in every birth. Lord Brahma's hands became tired of creating life again and again and that Lord Shiva should grant me salvation in this lifetime. Pattinathar wandered many lands and finally reached the kingdom of Ujjain in North India, ruled by a king named Bartari. Once the king was in a royal procession and Pattinathar, an ardent worshipper of Lord Shiva, was oblivious to King Bartari and his royal entourage. The king became enraged seeing Pattinathar's indifferent attitude and confronted him. Pattinathar replied with a blissful smile and said that the Lord alone was his master and would salute no one except the one, referring to Lord Shiva. This answer startled King Bhartari as he reflected on Pattinathar's words. That night, the king disguised himself as a mendicant and went to the Chowl Tree, a pilgrim's inn, where Pattinathar rested at night. They discussed how material wealth and family ties were temporary when Pattinathar strangely revealed to King Bhartari about his wife's infidelity. This news enraged King Bhartari and the next instant the furious king revealed his identity and proclaimed Pattinathar's death sentence. The next day, at the time of execution, Pattinathar sang songs praising Lord Shiva. The gallows where he was going to get executed mysteriously caught fire and charred into ashes. King Bhartari and the baffled onlookers looked at the scene in amazement. He realized that Pattinathar was a noble soul. Eventually, the queen's adultery also came to light. Devastated by the events, King Bhartari banished his queen and bequeathed the kingdom to his minister. He fell at Pattinathar's feet and pleaded to accept him as his disciple. Although Pattinathar warned him that the life of sannyasi was hard for someone like him used to a life of luxury, King Bhartari insisted. Pattinathar finally relented and accepted him as his disciple. Pattinathar sang many philosophical songs collectively called Pattinathar Padal Kalt or songs by Pattinathar. These poems that he sang enlightened the masses on the ideal of renunciation. He sang about the transient nature of life and repeatedly urged not to be attached to the pleasures of the body as it perishes eventually and becomes food for animals and worms. The lyrics in his songs are renowned for their heartfelt expressions of devotion to Lord Shiva and the simple appeal it had on the people. During his wanderings, Pattinathar played with the cowherd boys at Tiruvottiur, a neighborhood in the northern part of Chennai city. He miraculously disappeared from the spot and attained Sivasayujyam, the final liberation of the soul by transforming himself into a Shivalingam. His relatives and wife came to the spot where Pattinathar attained liberation and paid their respects. Pattinathar's Samadhi is on the Ennore Expressway in Tiruvottiur. 
it is more than 500 years old. Om Namah Shivaya.